Hi everyone, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Lenny Digitals. Uh, Jenna is the inspiration, the talent behind Lenny Digitals and she has a few tricks that will help you to make sure you don't miss out on anything amazing. So I was going to share those little bit, um, bits of advice with you today. Let's start off by talking about the characters. She has a handful of characters, maybe more than a handful, two handfuls of characters. Um, one, there's sort of one for every month. One of those characters is Nico. Uh, this is Nico here, and this is his little cart. And what this means when you see this on her Facebook group is that there's new items in the transient section of the shop. Transient section is totally random. Usually the stickers in there stay until the next time she posts something in the transient sec section, but that could be a day, a week, a month, and sometimes that wouldn't even happen. Maybe they'll just disappear. So if you see Nico and there's something new in the transient section that you want, grab it fast because it may not be there when you come back. So keep your eye out for Nico. Um, you should go to the group and set your notification settings to all posts so that you are sure you don't miss any um, of these little carts. Also, I'm just gonna scroll back up to the top. I found that post before I turned um, my camera on because I knew it would take some digging to pull it up. Jenna posted this this morning because she has a monthly kit. She puts out a couple of monthly kits on the first day of the month and they only last till the end of the month. So today is the last day of February. If you want the February kits, there's a washi set, a sticker set and a grab bag, which I'll go over once we move over to Good Notes. Make sure to grab them today. They will be gone tomorrow. And we're just gonna scroll through um, and talk about, well here, um, we'll talk about extreme planning. I posted this last night. So Jenna, gives us a free notebook or sometimes it's stickers or whatever, but to make a monthly planner or include in a monthly planner to participate in extreme planning. I've been doing this since October of 2019. I've completed every month. Sometimes I have to do a little bit of catch up. For example, I still have three days left to do for February. Um, but the extreme part of it is just that you're posting and sharing something every day, making a spread every day, ideally sharing it. Use the hashtag extreme planning um, so that people can find it and look at it. And Jenna is amazing for commenting on everything you tag her in. She is the most diligent shop owner I have seen with all of her comments and love. And she doesn't just like like your post, she reads the words and gives you a response that's relevant. It makes you feel special. It's one of the things that drew her to me in the very, drew her to me, drew me to her in the very beginning. The other thing we're going to talk about is Sampler Saturdays. So every Saturday, Jenna makes four stickers. Three of them you get off of her website and one is a Facebook group exclusive. And she gives these to you for free. It's her characters, it's her logo, it's her hand-drawn art. And she's giving four stickers away for free every single week. This is so much generosity. Um, so make sure you grab them. And just like the monthly kits or the transients, these aren't around forever. They will be gone today. So you can only grab the samplers for February. That's if you scroll through the group or through her, um, website you can grab all of the February samplers there's four stickers every Saturday but as of tomorrow they'll be gone and there'll be new ones out next week next Saturday so make sure you put a note in your calendar to grab these freebies they are so worth it so now we're gonna switch over to her website so uh, the Lenny Digital's website there's a really good FAQ section it talks about Nico and his cart. It lists which character is every month. So this right now it's February and Quinn has kind of been the, the focus. 
Um, and then starting tomorrow, it's going to be Shay, and Shay is this little worm. So cute. Um, so that's the the list of the characters. My favorite character is is Jossie, um, and he's one of the spooky kids, so he comes out in October. Let me know what your favorite is. I'd love to hear. So it talks about how come the kits disappear. There's a video about the character ideas and it talks about extreme planning. So there's an extreme planning YouTube. Jenna has a podcast which talks about stuff that's happened in her life. It's really interesting. I'm a few episodes behind but it's worth checking out. So now we're going on to the blog posts. Here's where you can grab you can download the stickers for this week. <clears throat> I've already downloaded them, so I'm not going to do that. And here's the rest. Here's some more, but I think these are just the February ones. So these are the ones that you can grab before they're gone. This is Bean. And then make sure to grab the exclusive in the Facebook group for each of these. Another thing I want to point out while we're in Jenna's group or page is if you search font, Jenna has free fonts, a free cursive font, which is amazing. These are the Suzy K, <clears throat> excuse me, Suzy K and Eagle Hoff are probably my two most used fonts, period. Hands down, I use them all the time. I have Eagle Hoff as my default in GoodNotes. And I've made a words date kit out of a Suzy K. So um, make sure you grab these free fonts. They are fantastic. She also has a video on how to make your own fonts with iFont Maker. So there's some really good stuff here. And it's also worth going through her videos. She has in this in her website, you might have to dig to find it. There's a video on how to mask your own pencil. I think ribbons, I know I'm forgetting something, but it's it's totally worth going through all her old posts and seeing what's there, freebies and, and stuff that you can make and procreate. There's a ton of good resources here. So now I'm gonna go over to the shop, maybe. We'll say all, okay. So you can sort the sticker kits by character. I said that I like Jossie. So if I go to Spooky Kids, there's the four, and then I can sort again by the Jossie kits, or I can see all the Spooky Kid kits. If you don't sort and you just scroll past all of the little characters, let's go back to the beginning. So we have characters, the exclusives, miscellaneous, transients, and everything. So transients are the ones that show up when Nico's cart is posted in the Facebook group. So these are only here until Jenna feels like sharing something new with us. So if you like any of these, grab them now. The square binders are fantastic. The highlighters are brand new. And these um, bendy pens are pretty cool. This is the third set now that she's done of them. And this one kind of has glitter in it and it's so, sort of slightly transparent. They're really cute. So if we go, we'll look at the exclusives. Every month, there's the mystery box, there's the exclusive kit, and there's a washi kit. So today is the last day you can get these, and I'm going to give you a peek what's in the mystery box, because it's the last day. So if I spoil the surprise, it's you got to get it today or it's gone. So um, there we go. So we just did a little walkthrough of her Facebook and her website. Seriously, so much good stuff here. It's totally worth taking a look through. So now I'm going to go into GoodNotes. Since we're done with the internet, I'm just going to turn it off so that nobody interrupts us. I figure we've been lucky that we've made it this far without any notifications popping up. So I was talking to you about the samplers. I've been collecting the samplers since the first ones she released. I think it was October. So these are all gone now. You can't get these if you didn't have them. And there are some gems in here. I use this little coffee cup a lot. 
the notepad's super handy. There's some really good stuff. Um, the Jossy ones came out in January. Absolutely love those. And then here's the ones that came out yesterday. So we're going to use, possibly use these in my spread. I am a tea freak. I was so excited to see the tea stickers. Plus Claude is really cute. On Fridays, Jenna releases a kit, or usually it's two kits, but I'm not sure if that's the rule. Maybe it's less, maybe it's more sometimes. So every Friday, you'll there'll be a new release. This work kit came out on Friday, and I really like it. So we're going to use it today to make um, my work weekly spread for next week. I just want to show you quick. This is the February kit that's going to be gone after today and it had some beautiful elements in it. This lattice is really cool. I used it as like the full page background. Um, there's this cute fence as well. The days of the week and then all these gorgeous flowers. I really like this kit. I used it a few times this month and it has a corresponding washi kit. Load. <laughs> um, here we go. So this was the matching washi kit that came with it. So there's some really pretty lace and lots of times you have to check because the washi is transparent. <clears throat> so it makes really pretty layering. And the last thing I'm going to show you, first I'm going to show you, when I first found Jenna, she released the, this grab bag. This is the first grab bag. And so when you download a grab bag, no, well, they were called grab bags in the beginning. Now they're mystery boxes because before they were bags. This sticker is on top of all the other stickers. So it's really like a mystery. You don't know what you're getting. So when you install the good notes file, you get all of these stickers stacked together under that bag. I use this little button all the time. There's some great planner buttons. This was a good first kit. I really enjoy getting it. And I've made sure to get every single one since the beginning. So you can see I have all the grab bags. <laughs> and here you can see she switched last summer to the box style, which it's still the same idea. Um, you get the box and all the stickers are underneath. So I'm going to show you, this is total spoiler. If you don't want to see it, fast forward or something. Um, but you can only get this today. So if you want it, grab it fast because it'll be gone tomorrow morning. Jenna is up early and it will be switched over. If it doesn't do it automatically at like midnight tonight. So these are the stickers that came in it. There is this new release day sticker, which I use on my planning planner. So I use this one. For new release date and I actually in Procreate I erased the words and put Sampler Saturday on it and st so I have one for Sampler Saturday on my planner as well. These little charms are really cute occasionally they come in the grab bags and there's usually a pin and a paper clip or a few. There's usually some washi, there's usually some ribbons, pens, occasionally some binding rings. Since it was Valentine's there's this super cute heart one Sometimes Jenna includes words or little snarky quotes. And then there's usually some kind of functional stuff or some frames or like a notebook cover. So this is what was in the February grab bag. Totally worth it to me. I love getting the grab bag. Even if I never use a sticker, it's just fun opening the box. So... I am going to use a couple stickers from here. The new Claude work kit and the Claude T sampler stickers and we're going to make a weekly work spread. So I'm using the DPC Digital's dated planner for my work. Let me scroll back. So I always I have a few things that I always include. Um, I always put a calendar for the month. Um, these are two stickers that I edited to be what I needed 
they're originally from DPC Digital's groups, but I kind of changed them up a little bit in Procreate. And then Monday to Friday, I have my to-dos. And then there's the weekend. So you can see each of my pages kind of look a little bit similar. Don't look too closely at all my work <laughs> tasks. <laughs> um, here's another one I did with the Sassy Frog Work Kit that's Lenny Digital's. So you can see I kind of keep the same format each time. That's another Lenny Digitals where I use that Quinn kit that's expiring today. Here's the lattice I told you about and all the flowers. And this little box here came from the grab bag. So now I this page here, I don't need any of these boxes. So what I do is I actually made a big white sticker. Let's see if I can grab it. See, big white sticker. I'm gonna go share, copy, and I paste this big white sticker down. Oh, clearly I resized it. Let's see if I can grab it with the lasso instead of doing a copy so that I keep this shape that it had. And then I just cover up everything on this page so that it's nice and blank and I can decorate it and put my, my pre-made boxes in. So I want some kind of background accent. Just trying to think what might be good. This was the Claude kit from last year. Claude's a July critter. But I'm not sure that these colors are gonna go very well with my um, palette. So we've got this kind of dusty rose, kind of brownish, grayish colors. So let's go back and just see if there's any washi that kind of coordinates with that. Maybe we can use this stuff here that's going to be expiring after today. I wonder if I can stretch this, if it'll still look good. So I'm just lining it up top and bottom with that other piece of washi. doing it I noticed I have a line showing here so I'm just going to shift my white one down and I'm just going to zoom in so I can try and get this to line up properly so I need it to be just a little bit bigger not much I'm going to zoom in. I find it's easier to do small increments when I'm zoomed in. I think that's going to be too much. Yep. Okay, so I made it so 
the difference between the two is almost the same. So if I line this one up, how close are we? Still a smidge off, but I'm going to call it good. Okay, now that we've done all that, let's see if I can grab both without grabbing the white one. Success. Okay, I'm just going to center it on the page. Right, so now we can start decorating. I'm going to go to the work kit and I'm going to use this little monitor. Oh, look, the monitor's transparent. Hmm, that changes my plan. That's okay, I can make it work. Oops, I don't want to copy, I want to paste. So, this planner is a bit of a pain in the ass because it's got all these text lines and they highlight when you long press on them so you have to try to long press huh I wonder where that came from that must be something to <laughs> I got dotted lines let's go back and reselect this monitor Ugh, that's not what I wanted to do okay what's up Tyler did you need something? I checked on the donuts and they're not even warm. Okay, so when I'm done, we'll ice them. Okay, that was Tyler. We're making donuts this morning. Uh, lemon poppy seed with raspberry icing. Very excited. Okay, so I'm gonna put the monitor here. Now, um, Creative Design Joy released some really fantastic calendar kits. I use them all the time. Not sure if I'm going to want the white one or the black one. Not sure which is going to stand out better. So I'm going to start with the white one. Yeah, I think that I like that. I don't even think I'll try the black. I'll put that there. So now I have my two stickers that I use every time and I've just, I did a little bit of prep today and I just pasted them on the next page. I actually have them saved on the this tab of my planner so I can grab them anytime I want but I have some other stuff there too that that's confidential, some passwords and things so I didn't want to go to that page in my video. So I'm going to put these stickers down. Now I write on these stickers, so I'm going to keep them straight. I never put these ones on an angle because then I'd have to adjust my font every time. I'm going to turn the lasso images tool off. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab these words. These are the backups that I do every week. So I don't have to retype it every time. And this is that Eaglehoff font from the Lenny Digital's website that I showed you. I love it. It's just a nice kind of simple sort of handwritten looking font. I actually think I'm going to move this up. All right, so now let's go back to the work kit. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the grab bag. I'm going to use this list. I'm going to turn my toggle back on. And I'm going to stretch it so 
so that it fills in so that the <clears throat> words, Shauna, um, I want the lines to be the same size as the lines in the planner. So I'm just trying to shrink it and get it lined up. Actually, you know what? I have too many lines. I'm going to remove the bottom two. Crop. So I'm going to take off the bottom two because I only need five. And while I'm here, I'm going to shrink down. And now let's make it fit. I think that looks good. So now I'm going to lasso and copy. See, I have to long press where there isn't words because otherwise it thinks I'm wanting to select those text sections which is a little bit annoying with this planner but I'm struggling through it because um, I love the dated functionality I like the way the linking art is on this planner and the tabs and everything So I'm just lining these boxes up with that top line, that thick gray line for the left to right orientation. And I'm lining up the box with the lines for up and down. So I don't need Saturday or Sunday. So I don't know if you noticed, but I find it easier to line it up using the lasso tool than having the whole thing selected because the heat, when I do it this way, it doesn't put that blue box around, which interferes with being able to see. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the work kit and I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work. But I'm hoping I can use these little pins to go across. Oh, I think it will work. So I'm just going to put it so it kind of covers that gray line. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so cute. I don't think I'm going to use the black one. So I'm going to paste. Now I can just grab these and line them up. Oh my goodness, so cute. I think I have these paler ones are different size. See how it's sticking out further? So I'm just going to try to line it up and resize it so that it's the same size as the darker one. And I'm just, when I'm lining them up, what I'm doing is this little divot here. I'm lining it up so it just covers up the gray. And then it all kind of works out perfect on this side. Okay. Oh, 
I'm so pleased with this. Look how good it looks. I imagined in my head using these pens as my header. I've done something similar before, but I wasn't sure how well it would work out. And I think that worked out perfect. So now we need to put some dates on them. I'm just going to use the font. Hmm. I don't know why my keyboard is over there. Let's just see. Let's just remind my... Oh no, I'm going to be all crooked. Let's remind my iPad which way we're going here. Yay! That was weird. I've never had that happen before. Okay. So let's make that a little smaller. And Monday is the first. I did not mean to do that. Four. Five and six. And Sunday the seventh. So while I'm looking at this pen, I can see that I didn't cover up that gray box very well. So we'll just give it a little shift. Okay, so now I resized the word Monday. So I want to copy this and paste it and then edit. And because of those silly lines, I can't long press in the main part, so I'm just doing it on the side here. And we'll just drag them over. So I'm just kind of eyeballing, trying to center it and position it in the same place on each pen. So center top to bottom and the same distance from the little Davy logo. Right. I know it's a bit tedious this way, but this way I can make sure they're all the same size. Alternatively, I could have typed out all the words, circled them all together, resized them all together, and then positioned them. So you can do it kind of either way. Oh, don't edit that one. That's the only one that's right. So Tuesday is longer. Then Monday, so I just have to stretch it so that it doesn't wrap down to the next page. I pretty much never actually use, even though I buy dated planners, I uh, never use the day and numbers that are there. I always cover them up and put something on them. That's the fun part of digital planning is kind of customizing everything and making it pretty. So I can't long press in this planner else it um, grabs these lines, but if you do a light tap, it still can bring up most of the menus. 
at least the text one it does. Right, so we've got that all ready. Now I want to fix this because I don't want to have it that font because it doesn't match the rest of mine. So I'm going to go back to the washi kit. Actually, what was in the grab bag? There's some nice washi here and this pretty ribbon. I wonder how the black glitter would look. I'm going to turn my image toggle back on. So I'm going to crop this ribbon down because it's too long. Now one thing that drives me crazy is the word March sticks out past this box, which when you put the washi on, it doesn't look good. So I'm going to make the washi the length of the box. But I need to kind of erase the word March because I don't want that bit of gray there from the H hangout. So I've just switched to my white pen and I'm just going to color this. Now, because of GoodNote layers, if I put this down, that's going to be on top. So I need to cut the washi and paste it back on. And I'm just going to kind of line it up with the box and then sort of shift it up. I want it centered top to bottom and lined up with the box below it. I'm gonna use the lasso tool to line it up a little bit better because it doesn't have those lines around it so it's easier to look at. Perfect. Now I need to make the word March. I kind of like this pale color. So you can change the color of your words. You can do custom. And you can bring up this little circle here. And now I need more pink because it's kind of a pinky color. And I need it kind of in this pale section. So that looks pretty good be a little bit lighter so see how there's black and white so I'm just if I move it to the white it goes more pastel and the black it goes more gray I want it sort of somewhere in the middle okay and now we'll go there and put the word March I'm going to turn off the image tool and make that as big as I can so it still fits in the black. Oop. All right. Okay, so all the functional stuff is done. Now I need to do some decorating. So uh, let's get rid of some stuff here. I'm done with the washi done with the grab bag so I've got my sampler Saturday stickers which I want to put on here so oops I need to turn my toggle back on for images I'm gonna grab these stickers and paste them down and we're done with that so now the work kit this is the inspiration of the whole spread, and so far I've only used one sticker. So let's take Claude and his little desk. I like to do a little bit of layering, so I like that his head is kind of covering the bottom of my little list there. Okay. What else? I'm 
So cute. Let's put Claude in his teacup down here. So if you are a tea fan, and I know a few of you who watch my videos are, this tea sampler will only be available today. It was released yesterday and it will be gone tomorrow. So make sure you grab it if you want it. Do not miss out, you have been warned. So I'm just scattering some decoration around my spread to make it look pretty. Oop, don't want to grab that white sticker. So I'm trying to balance the the colors and also the opacity of the stickers. That's why I'm moving them around from place to place just so that they look kind of more balanced in the spread. These are just meant to be decorative so I'm not worrying about ratio. I kind of have them all the same size even though normally the teapot would be the biggest thing and the tea bag would be the smallest. So I always put, since I don't work Saturday and Sunday, I always put the decorative stickers on those days. I have a meeting on Thursday, so I'm going to shrink this down. What other words do we have? Appointment, don't forget, deadline due, payday, day off, I wish, vacation, I wish. I think I'm good for all those. Now what stickers have I used? I've used this one, this one, this one couple of those. I think use this cute little bulletin board. I'm not too sure where I could put it though. My page is pretty full. Did I not copy it? There we go. I think I can't use it even though I love it. I love everything else more. Darn. I'd love to put that on, but I don't see how it's going to fit. So the only thing that's standing out for me is my word March just is too pink. So what I'm going to do if you guys have a better way of doing it, let me know. This is what I do. So I'm gonna, I am want the word to be this color. So I'm going to grab the little briefcase. I'm going to bring up Procreate. So I've hit copy already. So it's on my clipboard. So I'm just going to bring it here. If I long press, I paint it white. If you long press with your finger, see that circle comes up and it changes the color. So I'm going to choose value. And now it tells me the hexa code for this color. You can see it's selected there. Can I, and then I'm going to copy it. Come on. And then I'm going to go back to good notes. Maybe there's a better way of doing this. I have not figured it out. So I'm going to say, I'm going to select the text and say color and go to custom. Why can't I see it? 
<laughs> it's not letting me see what I got going on here. Okay, so I've deleted it. Now I need to paste it. Ha! This is annoying. What if I move it so it's at the top? Nope. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna end up making everything crooked. I don't know why it's, I don't know any other way to get around this. So let's switch this to portrait and then I will have more room. Oop. Color, custom, and paste. There we go. Okay, now it matches. It's not quite as pink. That was a bit of a pain. Bear with me. I'm probably going to be crooked now. I spend so much time at the beginning of my videos trying to line everything up so it's not crooked. Bear with me if it is. Hopefully that's okay. But it was really bugging me being the wrong color, so I had to fix that. Um, there we go. So I think we're done. That will be my weekly spread for this coming up week. I am very pleased with this. I love how the pens turned out. Um, and Claude is super cute. I don't know if you caught, uh, if you can read that at the top there. Claude is spelled C-L-A-W, like a claw, D-E. So anyway, there you go. We made a weekly spread with the new work release that came out on Friday. I used a few stickers from the sampler and the grab bag that will be gone after today. I cannot stress that em enough. Transients, February or monthly exclusives and samplers. Make sure you grab them as soon as you see them because they will disappear. So I hope you had fun today. I hope you learned lots about Lenny Digitals. If you already use her stuff, great. If you don't, seriously check out the website. There is so many goodies there, so many resources. A lot of what I've learned has been from Jenna. So take a peek and I hope you like this. Do all your housekeeping or all my housekeeping I should say. Like, subscribe. What else should I tell you? Check the description. I will link everything that I did and I think that's it. So I'll see you Thursday and we are going to make a spread with the new book kit from Pink Punch Studios that came out yesterday or Friday. So see you then everyone. Bye!